Hi and a belated welcome to The Sim Hanger. My name's Mark, The Sim Hanger, for all things flight sim related. So just what is Open Land Class Africa and what does it do? Well, Africa is not the first area to get this upgrade treatment from Orbix. North America, South America, Europe, etc. have already been done. And in simple terms, well, it's given it a facelift. It is a complete and comprehensive upgrade and change to the ground textures. Not the airport, but the ground textures used by your simulator. It's a lot easier to demonstrate it than it is to explain it. So let's take a look. Open Land Class Africa is for prepared and for FSX and requires global base to be installed. We can do a comparison with before and after the Land Class Africa textures have been installed. And as you can see, it's a fairly significant update, both in terms of the detail that it shows, as well as the Land Class classification being far more accurate and true to real world. Here we can see the transformation that the Africa textures bring the whole Somalia highlands to life. To my mind, the visual impact of the land class upgrade in Africa is more dramatic than arguably any other because of the wide variety of different terrains from desert to lush green forest, similar to South America to some degree. Well done, Orbix. So what's my final thoughts and opinions? Well, overall, it's favorable. The whole continent of Africa gets a much needed and somewhat overdue facelift. And for the price point, well, I believe it's value for money. I certainly am going to be doing more flying and exploring in that continent than I have done recently. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. I'd love to know. Drop them in the comments below. My prepared version 4.5 settings are shown at the end of the video. Thank you very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care and look after yourselves. Bye for now.